Hey, what's up, my little tattletales? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are Kim Kardashian, you are just as disgusting as we always thought you were, y'all. Kim is being called out for crossing the picket line to film American Horror Story. And before you Kardashian bootlickers come into my comments, talking about she didn't have a choice. Yes, she did. She had 100% of a choice. They literally said, Kim's obviously in a position where she could either opt out of her episode or tell the producer she's not comfortable crossing our picket line. Kim chose to cross. That's now part of her public image. Y'all, now listen, I reported on this uh, a couple of weeks back when this idiot had a script of American Horror Story and scheduled TMZ to be there to show everybody for her secret meeting for a table read at a, at a secret location to show everybody and signal that she was crossing the picket line and filming was going to actually happen. Now, listen, some of y'all were like, what are you talking about? You don't know what you're talking about. It's just a secret meeting. Y'all, to which I say, baby, I know when a writer's picket line is being crossed and it is being crossed and she is being called out. Let me just tell you how it's happening, why it's happening. And this should put an end to why anybody wonders why anybody really has a problem with Kim. It's not the fact that she's playing herself with plastic surgery. It's not the fact that she's trying to be cool, sexy, hip mom at 40 something years old with four kids that actually she's leaving on the street to buy puppies. It's not the fact that she built her empire selling shapewear to literally show the average woman how they can make their body look like they're chopped and screwed when they don't have the money to actually get their body chopped and screwed like the Kardashians. There are a lot of things, right, that you can drag the Kardashians for. But Kim literally breaking this strike line for no apparent reason, because let's be real. Kim has the personality of cardboard. She is too stiff. She's not spontaneous. I don't know how she's going to do in the American Horror Story. She might be she'll be the best person ever. But the fact of the matter is this is not going to be a career defining role. You could have left it alone. But the fact that you know you have power, you do have a media pre pre presence and you are signaling, right? You are signaling to everybody that it is on like Donkey Kong and you are breaking picket lines so you can film your dumb role that you're gonna flop at. Let's be real, y'all. We saw Kim in the Tyler Perry thing when she tried that flop. We saw Kim when she was in like some like that dumb Keenan Ways movie, flop. You did risk all this for nothing? This is the equivalent of when she dated Pete. You risked everything, made a fool of yourself, tattoos on Ellen, bragging, and laughing, and kikiing, literally filming, taking showers with new daddy. That was her name for Skeet when she was trying to push her kids on him and ended up blowing up in your face. And now look what you're doing with this picket line. Y'all, let's get into this mess. First of all, the Writers Guild of uh, Association strike captain Warren Lee literally tweeted sad to report that kim kardashian crossed our midtown picket line today i told y'all she was planning on you union busting i told y'all listen if y'all are not pro-union or even worse anti-union you need to click off now baby da comrades do it do it do it do it do it because the unions are literally keep you know what? i'm gonna get into that let's read what um warren light had to say okay Sad to report that Kim Kardashian crossed our midtown picket line today. Ushered passes into a freight elevator in her chauffeured Escalade. Riders aren't keeping up, but Kim crossed our line. He said, once again, working actors are, are required to cross our lines until their contract is up on June 30th. It's not scabbing. Many agonize over that. March with us on other days. Send statements of support. Kim has more leverage than others in the position, right? She didn't use it. So let me explain what's going on, right? Because Kim is just an actress, this is not scabbing. Scabbing is when you like break the picket lines and then they ban you when like the strike's over. This is something more innocuous. See, here's the thing. 
there is something unique going on with Hollywood. The exact same thing that's going on everywhere. The rich are getting richer and the people that are out there working and actually make things happening are getting poorer and poorer and poorer because they want to pay them less and less and less. Remember, Miss Kim Gart, get your A up and work. Yeah, but the problem was, Kim, pe people didn't want to work for you because you didn't want to pay them. Same thing with Hollywood, right? Now, let me just say this. Kemp supported Rick Caruso. She's already shown. As much as she likes to put on Kanye, oh, he's this, he's that. Kim, you are a super conservative from what I see. Leaning, you are not for the little guy. You're not even for the working guy. You're only about how to commodify people, not pay them, and make more money. Okay? So what's happening in Hollywood right now, and if you guys don't know, are the Writers Guild was getting the short end of the stick. And when I say the short end of the stick, I mean they were getting pennies. Being a writer is hard work. The very few get very, you know, you might get a show, get this and that. But they were being screwed over big time, not by a little, by a lot, by the many Hollywood studios. But here's the interesting thing. The writers said they were striking. And last time the writers striked, nobody stood next to them. The, the actors union didn't, production union, directors union. They were like, no, like you on your own. However, everybody learned their lesson because everybody found out at this unique point in time that the big Hollywood executives are screwing everybody. No one's getting their pay. No one's getting their due. Everybody is getting taken advantage of except for the fat cat mofos sitting up in the office. So everybody's standing in solidarity because guess what? Everybody's going on strike in a couple of weeks. Everybody. The Writers Guild of America has been picketing locations to make sure that people can't cross the finish line, the, the picket line. All the other unions have been standing in solidarity. Even when actors have to cross it for their job, right? They release statements saying, it breaks my heart. I don't want to do this. They release statements of support saying, even though I have to do this until June 30th, I stand with you. Kim is refusing to do that. Kim is a billionaire. She doesn't need that check. Kim is one of the most famous people in the world. She doesn't need this thing. Somebody else will give her a, a role. So why is she doing this? because she can because this is who she is the same way she stole that contract the Dolce and Gabbana contract it's been alleged from Courtney when she didn't need it because she has a pathological need because Kim is trying to endear herself to the one percent Kim not only wants to make the bank account jump but she also wants to make the connections and I'm not talking about her lifers Hollywood connections I mean into that big money that legacy money that inherited money that's what she wants and she thinks if she does this solid for the studios it's going to cement her family her children probably true too because Chloe's kissing up to uh, uh, Kim so much as the next generation, as a contract with Disney. Kim is pathological in her need for money. It really is sick and it knows no bounds, but who breaks picket lines? Who doesn't stand with the little person? Who does this for a little role in American Horror Story? Kim is disgusting. And anybody thinks it's okay to literally undercut and not support striking individuals that need this money to pay their rent, pay their mortgages, pay their kids' college tuitions, put food on their table. You guys, again, I want to put it into context. Kim's defenders could technically get away with saying, well, it's a technicality. She didn't technically do anything wrong, but it goes against everything, the Teamsters, the SAG, Right? That's the Screen Actors Guild. Teamsters, they're in charge of production. And everything the WGA stand for. And everything they've been doing unofficial. Listen. It's why most productions have been getting shut down by just a handful of protesters popping up. Because it's all the excuse actor SAGs needs to be like, sorry, can't cross the line. And Kim decided to do it. This is disgusting. Kim's disgusting.
I'm going to say it. If what is being reported by the WGA captain, Kim is disgusting. She's disgusting. I just, she's disgusting. And listen, you guys, one more time. And what's more, Kim herself kept herself invisible behind heavily tinted windows, but the strikers knew her call time and she was driven in a bit of hit of it. Plus a degree of security massing before she arrived and surrounding her car, pushing us away, indicating that it was Kim. He added that he could tell it was her by the size of the car, the darkness of the windows, and once again, she got when she got in, people on set had confirmed she was arrived. How much money do you need? What was this stupid little, this stupid little, um, this stupid little role you got really gonna do for your career? This is what I mean when people are like, no, but Kim's a sweet person. Yeah, somebody can be nice and still be spitting in your face. This isn't about nice. This is about what you actually do. I'm the type of person, baby, you don't need to bake me banana nut bread. You need to stand behind me when I'm trying to literally do what I need to do to feed my family to earn money. Again, what? Well, I already know why Kim did it. Kim, as much as people want to believe she's still like that tacky little thing from Calabasas, Kim has, is literally trying to make the jump into the ruling class of the elite. She's trying to make it jump money-wise, credibility-wise. Remember she did that dumb article when her booty was out in the magazine talking about, I'm just in bigger rooms now. I know how it works. Kim, make your money. Do what you got to do. But why are you stepping on a little guy to do it and you doing it to fail? Kim did absolutely did not acknowledge the pickets. And they said that we understand working actors are required to cross our lines until the contract is up in June. Many of them agonize on this. She's in a position where she could either opt out of her episode or tell the producer she's not comfortable crossing a line. She chose to cross. That's now part of her public image. Y'all, Kim's disgusting. I know I said it a million times, but vile, vulgar, disgusting, washed up, and she really did play herself. But we all know Kim's not good at the long term. Again, this is literally the human equivalent of what that relationship with Skeet. Congratulations, Kim. You truly played yourself. And for anybody going to come in the comments defending this mess, shut the heck up up for real <laughs> da comrade we union on this channel all day baby workers right literally eat the mf and rich y'all let me know what you think in the comments and i will talk to you later bye